My name is Pedro Neves Marques. I'm here at Gasworks for my exhibition, It Bites Back. The core of the show is a double film installation that I shot during the current political crisis in Brazil. The film you see here at Gasworks, uh, titled uh, The Bite, a Mordida in Portuguese. On the one hand, you see uh, a series of, of scenes with people working in a um, uh, genetics uh, lab where they're doing research on genetically modifying mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus and dengue in that case. Um, and I'm looking at um, both the specific technology that's being developed, uh, what's happening to the, to the animal, and the, um, let's say, the gender dynamics within the lab. So science as a space of normativity and categorization. On the other hand, uh, because the films are set during, uh, it's not very clear, but you do understand that they are set within the current Brazilian crisis, political crisis. So on this other film, you see uh, um, a relationship between three uh, people, and it's a very intimate scene, and I see it as both a reflection of the crisis in our own bodies uh, and the space of intimacy, and what is the role of intimacy in crisis. This film here at Gasworks uh, is also very much touched by uh, an interest in, in body horror, an interest in uh, kind of um, uh, pulp literature almost, uh, although it also comes from this kind of biotechnological um, futurity and, and kind of uh, imaginaries, uh, in this case, with, um, with genetics. Then the installation, the films, are surrounded uh, by this quite large sound piece developed by, by a, a, a musician and producer here in London uh, called Hout. É abater essa população. Então sim, na prática a gente controla a reprodução das fêmeas. Essa esterilização é como se fosse a semente transgênica. Looking at uh, viruses, animals that spread viruses, within the, the current, the last three years, let's say, of the Brazilian uh, political crisis, I could only look at what was happening through the idea of virality, epidemics. So I was always uh, working with that image, in, with those images in mind. Um, I, I ended up producing a series of very short clips uh, for social media at Gasworks, where I, I use the first mapping, the uh, 3D rendering of the Zika virus. Uh, which is a very, a very pulpy image. Um, uh, and I embedded a series of, I was taking images from YouTube uh, from really key moments in the last three years and just basically literally inserting them inside the virus. And I've been thinking about this, this, this idea of the virus of nature and the virus of culture, uh, this kind of uh, uh, right-wing conservative wave really like, and thinking about militarization, the, the militarization of, of society, not only in Brazil, but, but I think even more so there. Uh, the, just everyone, uh, this avalanche of, of violence and militarization of the mind. As a closing event to the exhibition, together with Gasworks, we're organizing a series of uh, readings uh, especially coming from poetry. Um, very surprisingly to me, um, instead of writing theory or fiction, as I usually do, the last few years poetry was uh, what felt honest and where I could really channel what I was feeling and really also relate to what other people were feeling. And some of the poems ended up in the films. Others will be reading in this event. Um, and just like the films, they go from a very, they appropriate the space of biotechnology and the language of biotechnology as a, 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 a biopolitical space that's increasingly becoming dominant in terms of bodies, uh, but also intimacy and care. I appreciate that um, at the first 
at first glance, when you see the, my, my films and even some of the writings, the fiction writing, uh, you have a certain documentary feel to it. But actually, it's really speculative about what it's trying to do uh, with slight shifts. And there's, it is true that the works have been contaminated by a feeling of dystopia. I've grown quite skeptical about, about dystopia. I appreciate what it does, but I also think, one, there is an anthropology of dystopias to be made in the sense of uh, f from which angle are we looking at dystopia? Who's dystopia? Um, and in these films here, hopefully, you get this feeling of, it's very, it can be very oppressive with the sound, with the images. But at the end of the day, um, I also simultaneously to, to thinking about why, why are we obsessed with dystopias right now? Uh, I want to think about uh, the meaning of love, again, and care and intimacy uh, within the catastrophe. Um, this is not to say um, that what you see in one of the films is this kind of image of, of honesty and, per, and, and, and just kind of um, transparency, because there's always like tension. There's always, uh, I think the bodies you see in this film, they're never completely together, but there's still this attempt at coming together. If we are so obsessed with dystopias, why are we so afraid of the word love?